What's up with it, man? It's your girl Toya B. I'm back with another video for you guys. And as you guys can see, it's actually a different video. Getting ready to get prepared for the Super Bowl. Say what up, baby. Hi. This is right now. She's busy. She's occupied. You might hear the uh, washer and dryer machine going off right now. But don't worry about that. Pay attention to the chicken. I've already pre-washed my chicken, so I don't want nobody to try to get on me or nothing like that. Chicken is already washed. I just decided to do this video for you. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to comment down below and also give us some more video ideas. Let's get into it. All right, you guys. So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to season my chicken. I have my gloves on because I just don't want my hands to get messed up. So I got my season. I have my lemon pipi. I got my black pipi. I have my adobe. I have my seed. I also have, that's right, brown cinnamon. <laughs> Secret ingredient. Stephanie doesn't even know that I use this sometimes to just, just make it a little. Do you hear her in the background, guys? Listen, and then also, you know, for later, when we're going to top it off with, we got this honey. We also have um, the uh, mild, oh, my light turned off, hold up, y'all. And then we also got the mild sauce, you feel me? So for our wings and whatnot, we're not just having wings, we are also gonna have, this is a little extra packet. Um, we also are gonna have like, uh, let me show y'all. We're gonna have pigs in the blanket, can you see that? So we're gonna have these pigs in the blanket, we're gonna wrap them, you know, with the little croissant rolls and whatnot. We're gonna wrap these. Y'all just stay tuned to the end of the video, all right? That's it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning my chicken. And this chicken is actually going to go into the refrigerator. So I got my top right here. So the chicken is actually going to go into the refrigerator so that it can actually kind of like marinate a little bit with the seasoning. So just stay tuned, y'all. I mean, when I cook, your girl cook, you feel me? And I don't cook a lot, but I'm trying. Trying a little something, something. All right, that's a song. You got to use the song, Susan, Susan. I feel like it gives seasoning a whole new meaning. Susan, Susan, Susan. I got my adobo, adobe. Sprinkle some of that up on there. Last but not least, ooh, I'm about to sneeze. Last but not least. You don't put a lot of the cinnamon, you feel me? It's literally just a little bit of cinnamon just to give it some type of like sweet and tangy taste at the same time, okay? You can either use cinnamon if you want or you can use nutmeg. I'm pretty sure y'all probably like what the hell, but I promise you, you won't go wrong. I promise you. So you just sprinkle a little bit just like that, literally a little bit. Then you... I see that now since I don't have oregano what I will use though thyme I'm gonna use some thyme guys I'm gonna use thyme yep that's right thyme just gonna pour a little bit in my hand there like so and then I'm gonna sprinkle it over my chicken okay put this to the side over there somewhere and then I'm going to massage my chicken again think this part of it is actually good I'm just gonna add a teeny bit more salt because it barely comes out I'm in the ghetto kinda, it's like a mixture da, 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 da. Salt. So we kind of did this on our own it barely comes out so that's why I'm putting a little bit more just to let y'all know it barely comes out it ain't nothing wrong with seasoning man don't be shy with your seasoning don't be stingy with the seasoning either you want your chicken that up oh, my bad y'all so all right, y'all, so as y'all see, I got my chicken. It is, that's what my chicken is looking like. It already looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, shoot. Anyway, yes, sir. Yeah. All right, y'all, so now I am going to put the top on there. And first, I'm actually going to take these off because I don't want my top to get all dirty. My top on, I'm going to wipe off what I just... 
Always try to keep a clean cooking area. It'll save you so much time in the end if you clean as you cook. Now I got my handy dandy chicken and I'm getting ready to put it into the refrigerator and I will see you guys whenever it's time to take it out. guys so i am back right now and as you see i got the grease going right now i'm getting ready to fry that's right i'm gonna fry some of the chicken wings i was trying to use my little fryer right here but i did not have enough grease in order to fill up that maximum line right there if you see it right here i wasn't able to fill it up so i said you know what it's always another way to go and so I decided to move to the pound. I'm still going to use one of my bad boys. This can actually fit inside of here. So that's what we getting ready to do. So let's get let's get into the video. Alright you guys, so we also have some of these in the oven right now. Stephanie just made them. She ain't want to F with y'all, so she didn't want to make a video. Nah, I'm just playing. But anyway, listen, yeah, so you already see we got the pigs in the blanket going on right now. You feel me? I got the grease warming up. Yeah, we, we got our grease. And we got the pigs in the blanket. So I see y'all in a little bit once the grease heat up. So I am back right now. I got the little purpose, you know, the flour and everything like that. I'm getting ready to put it in the bag and I'm about to put some seasonings in it. I'm gonna put my chicken in there and then I'm also gonna have some eggs. That way I had the chicken, you know. I don't even know what I'm getting ready to say honestly. So we just gonna go ahead and do the flour. <laughs> I think that's enough. So I got my flour up in here. I got my chicken here. And I have Stephanie yelling in the background. Cheetos got popcorn. She is talking about Cheetos and popcorns, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add just a tad bit of pepper. Yes, I'm adding it to my flour. That's how I do. I'm not adding the same exact ingredients as I did for the chicken. I just want, you know, a little seasoning for the uh, for the flour, you All right, now that I got my seasoning and my flour, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my chicken inside of the bag. Cover your chicken with some of the flour, even though you about to, you know, stir up the chicken and whatnot, but this is what I do. We're gonna cover our chicken with the flour. Y'all see it? Boom, we covering our chicken. how my mama used to make it. Get an old grocery bag, you know what I'm saying, man? Y'all heard her? I don't know if y'all heard her, but that's what I'm not, that's exactly what I'm not going to do. I'm not getting ready to save the flour, you feel me? I mean, at the end of the day, you don't want no cross-contamination, so just throw the flour away and get you some new flour. that the chicken is going to be fully covered this is the best way to do it like just get you a grocery bag and man just shake that mama you know just shake it up just like that just shake it up you feel me and then what you want to do is you want to dip it into some egg and then after you dip it into the egg put a little bit more flour on it that's if you want a little bit more crunch let's get it let's go
Did y'all hear Stephanie? Side of the barbecue sauce. I already got the ones with a hot one. You feel me? Or should I say the mild wings? So what we getting ready to do is we getting ready to go ahead and put these inside of here. Those two are actually stuck together, but we gonna keep it going, man. We gonna put these inside it. Oh, it's actually really good, y'all. It is so good. Oh my god. All right, y'all. So we got that. You feel me? Mm. Uh oh. So we getting ready to add some more barbecue sauce on the top of it. You feel me? I like my chickens to be fully, fully marinated. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna make sure that happens. All right. So we got the barbecue sauce. You know what I'm saying? We gonna put the top up on it, and we gonna shake these things and we is getting ready to see what they are looking like right there. Let's go. Shake, 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 shake. Uh, uh. Shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, ooh, ooh. Yes, sir. Put them upside down a little bit and I'm feeling it on it. So we got our shake and make, and this is what it's looking like. Uh -huh. Yeah, see that man? They looking really good, man. So I'm gonna take my little, my little spork, whatever you want to call it. And put these with these here, you feel me? Stephanie said she had one of some honey barbecue ones, so that's why we got the honey barbecue on deck. So once everything else is prepared, which is basically already is prepared. I'm getting ready to show you guys our Super Bowl layout. And I will see y'all in a little bit, man. But first, let me show y'all what it's looking like. Yeah. All right, you guys. So we are back right now. And I told you guys I was going to come with the, you know, little layout. It's a little little layout for me and the, you know, the wifey, as you can see. You feel me? But listen, man. So we got the chips, which were open last night because somebody could not Staying not to open them. But we got the chips. We got the tortitos. We got the wings. Two different kinds. Both are fried. We got our buffalo on one side. And then we got our honey barbecue on the other side. We got our little pigs in a blanket. These are my favorite things. Like, I love pigs in a blanket. Like, my wife made them for me one day. And I cannot get enough of them. We also got the nacho cheese. Which is something that Stephanie requested. You feel me? We got our little punch on deck. Oh, something, something, I ain't gonna say it, but we got a little something, something here going on, you feel me? So, this is our little spread, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Comment down below, who team did you root for? I ain't even gonna let y'all know who I got, you feel me, or who I had. So, just comment down below. Give us some more video ideas, and we see you in the next video. Let's get it, let go. Better, I don't believe that you know how much I'm missing you.